Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Chill, I'm Kevin, yes today I'm going to be watching another episode in the amazing Pacific, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm over halfway through now, yeah, episode 6, this one's Peleliu Airfield. I have no illusions, there's no illusions as to what I'm thinking in this episode. Um, I think this one's going to be extremely brutal, if not the most brutal so far. We've had a lot of, we've had battles, you know, there has been fights, has been, you know, we've seen, we've seen death, we've seen some pretty vicious stuff. We've also had downtime in Melbourne and stuff, and then we've had, you know, we had the landing there, the Peleliu landing. And then, the way the, the way the foreshadowed it, the way, you know, we've got Eugene there now, and he was like, you know, tomorrow we going out there. It, to me, it just, there was a little bit of foreshadow and made us feel like, okay, this episode's going to be... It's going to be brutal. It's going to be maximum impact, I think, this one. Um, excited for it, but obviously, you know me, I'm a little bit kind of... Uh, I'm nervous about it. Uh, I'm expecting this one to be to be right up there with some of the with some of the hardest hitting that we've had so far. We shall see. Um, really liking the Snafu character, even though I think he's completely mental. Um, whether he's just seen too much now for everything to be... De like, I mean, oh, I talk about desensitization quite a lot, but this was, you know, he saw some gold in his teeth, went over, big knife, right straight through the lips. I'll just cut that out. And uh, now I'm going to sleep, wake us up in four hours. Just like, it's just not there, just not, not, not bothered, just not bothered. But I like his little one liners, I think he's quite funny. Uh, but I like Rami Malek anyway. Um, and overall, I, I think, you know. Uh, Sledge, uh, Sledge is obviously there now, and Sid's gone. He's rotated back home, so that's been a funny one for him to kind of deal with. Um, the rest, obviously, who's here got hit, got hit in the leg. I don't know if he survived or whether he's died or no. Um, they were saying, apply the pressure, apply the pressure, and I was like, ah, oh, shit, man. Um, he did seem to be kind of like he's, he was gone and he was coming back through, so I'm, I've got fingers crossed that he survived. Don't know yet. Probably going to find out. Um, hopefully we find out soon. Um, but yeah. Uh, just excited to kind of get into this one. I think this one's going to be brutal. Um, yeah, thank you so much if you're here watching this with me today. You know how much I appreciate it. Um, just any kind of likes and comments that you give. And I mean, it means everything to us. Just hearing some of the stories or whether your families were in the military or whether, you know, you've just enjoyed the show yourself. Just reading them stories. And when I'm able to, obviously, I do get moderators to say um, that some people are still trying to tell us who wrote the books. Um, so for those of you, shame on you. Uh, but I do have moderators that are, are jumping on saying, look, you know, they, they do delete them before I get a chance. Because if I was to read, like I've, I've mentioned before, if I was to read who was wrote the books, I'll know who is who who survived. And that's kind of not what I want. It's that that's taken away. I mean, I know a lot of you, because a lot of you have seen the show and you just want to kind of say, this did this and they did that and this did and they wrote this and that. So it's to show, tell me your knowledge. But by telling me your knowledge, it ruins the show for me because then I know who wrote the books, which means I know who survived. So if they get into a firefight, I'm like, ah, oh, I know they're going to survive. Or do you know what I mean? Which takes away that unknown. So just bear that in mind if you can, if you don't mind. But I do have moderators just in case a few of you do get a little bit um, keyboard happy, if that makes sense. All right. But anyway, I was just, um, I'm, I'm happy that you're here watching this with me, seeing my reactions to it. And uh, yeah. I'm going to get into that now. If you're enjoying the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. Reason being is it just really helps the channel to grow by putting like comments and liking. Um, it tells YouTube that people are liking the video, which makes them push it out to other people. It's as simple as that. That's where the algorithm works. And if you do like full length reactions, if you want to see me watch like the full length reaction to this, um, I do have it on my Patreon. It's uncut and unblurred, so you don't need a copy of your own. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Let's do this, guys. I'm nervous. I'm never so okay. Let's do this. September 16th, 1944. September 16th, that's my birthday. They thought it would oh. be a very short campaign, maybe over two or three days. There were more Japanese there than there were Marines waiting to get ashore. Oh my God. We didn't realize there was a ridge there with over 500 caves in it. What All the shit? Seeing everything. The Japanese resistance was so fierce that the Marines couldn't get supplies to shore. No drinkable water could be found on Peleliu. What? You can go a long time without food. Water you can't? But you cannot do it without water. I've never known thirst like that. Marines' orders were to cross the exposed airfield in the middle of the island. This is going to be horrific, this episode. 
going across that airfield. That was the longest walk I think I've ever took in my life. I guess what made it so scary, it wasn't a damn thing you could do about it. I felt helpless, I, I felt defenseless, you know, I mean, it just wasn't anything you could do. Oh my God, they're just gonna be walking across, this is gonna be brutal. It's a miracle that the 1st Marine Division wasn't completely decimated. So, yeah, a bit like what Eugene said, they're gonna to have to go out there. So they have to cross the airfield. They've just made it sound like it's absolutely horrific. How that weren't all mowed down. I'm expecting to lose a few people here, main characters, I think. It's been absolutely phenomenal as a show. God, that Hans Zimmer is, is absolutely he's some boy, isn't he? He really impressed me the last episode. Considering he's just kind of walked in there and he's gone straight to Pelalau. I'll be so wounded if someone like Sledge gets hit. I might be completely wrong about the fact Lecky wrote the book. I mean, Lecky could get hit. It's only because the only reason I say that is because he's a writer and it's been kind of a lot about Lecky. But any of the other ones could get it. I still think John Bassalone wrote one. Well, Alabama, what? It could be Sid. It's a man in a uniform, man. Oh, no, that she's going to think he's been killed. <laughs> oh, yes. Sidney Phillip. Oh, <laughs> oh. Father, Sid's here. Well, I hope I didn't startle you, Mrs. Sledge. Oh, not at all. Eugene's with a lot of good Marines. First is the best there is. Us stovepipe boys, we're always a little behind the hot stuff. Which is a good place to be, let me tell you. They have no idea how much danger he's in. That's not so hard to hear, is it? Let's them sleep well at night. Well done, Sid. Pelalo Airfield. This is going to be... Let me, I'm going to swear, this is going to be fucking horrific. I can smell it. They've done a good job of making you feel like the lack of wanting to do anything. Target, Just... They've had everything wiped out, the mentally, the physically fatigued. Break this shit down, get ready to move. So they've got no drinkable water neither, and it can get up to 110. Fuck a duck. I just want some fucking water. Mm. Checking his water. Got to do it up in there. I mean, you, you're trying to survive, aren't you? Sorry, youngin. Water. What I'm the water. fuck? Pass my helmet. Oh, what? Look, no. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Poisoned it. Poison. Jack fuckers poisoned it. God, they were close there. The entire division moving across mm. the airfield at zero nine hundred. The only way to stop this Jap artillery is to get into those hills. Do not stop until we get across. This is gonna be horrific. Any questions? Can I ship myself? Get your gear ready and stand by. Get back online! Let's go, rocket! Move it! Any questions? Yes, mate, you mind if I completely and utterly shit myself right now? No, no mate, go on, crack on. Cheers. It'll all be over by the time you cross. I got a little water. What? Yeah, you're not getting any snafu, dickhead. That scene there was brilliant. It, it kind of highlighted just how much a tiny little bit of water meant to them. You've been promoted. <laughs> Get under that gear. We're moving shortly. Yes, Gunny. <laughs> Gunny, I love it. <laughs> uh, you need a proper rough, rough ass to like to lead like that. Hey, the pit's dry too. Maybe the Japs have some over there. Oh, careful! Fuck, Jesus. How are they meant to cross that airfield? Are you shitting in me pot noodle? <laughs>
They're doing a very good job of making you kind of get really tense because you know it's going to be crazy. Look at them all. Oh my god. Always first. Oh my god. This. I can't. It's going to be absolute carnage. See, they'll already be zeroed in. The nowhere, so they just start unloading when they, as soon as they see them. Oh, that went straight through his leg. <clears throat> Go on, Sledge. Eugene, just put your head. I got shot in the fucking head. I don't want like, I don't like the captain to get hit. When you when you when you think they're gonna go around the side of a wall, you think they're just gonna get hit. You can hear the bullets, man. That is awful. It went through the... It just got blown over. Oh, my God. Oh, leg off. Ah! They've just got the head down running. This is absolutely awful. Go on, Gunny. No! Oh, the bastard. Oh, his arm flew off. Fucking hell. There's arms, legs flying off. Right. Get He's probably been hit. Calm down, run it. No, no, he's been hit again. Really hit that. He's been really hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's dying. He's, he's bleeding out. Are you receiving? Oh fuck, man! He's dying and he's trying. Are you receiving? Are you receiving? Tighten it again. Fix it, you hear me? Bullet holes everywhere. Oh my god! Oh my god. Leg, you gotta go back. What about Conley? You've got a what? A radio and a corpsman up here. You've got a what? You've got to go back. What? White Castle, White Castle. This how far? Do you read? Did he just say you've got to go a fucking back? After they've just done that run. Come on, stay with me. So everyone's moving forward and he's having to go back. Oh my god, it's horrific. I don't, I can't even begin to believe that he, oh my god, his arms just come off. This is brutal. It's fucking brutal. They're not stopping on the brutality mind. Very visually insanely bad. Oh. Get, get down. Oh, well, I'm lucky the move from that position. Oh, he's going to go back. I think he's going to end up being like one of the main players in this. Oh, yeah, I could feel it. He's dead before he even hit the ground. Fucking hell. Oh, airstrike. Tack that, you fucking dick. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 
Is that who helped with the water? Careful. Oh my god. Look at them just standing there, they're so close. Nice. Peer back, bitch. Yes. Shoot that right at the top. Oh, wow. That's accurate. Get down, get down, get down. I mean, I mean, I say get down, you can't. You've got to move forward. Oh, Gunny. Oh, there you go. Ho, ho, ho. Went the back of your head. How do you like that? Things like, moments like that will stick with you forever. That you remember seeing them. I bet it's strange the things that stick with you that don't, like, you wouldn't have thought would have. He's injured, but how badly? I need an ammo count. What do you got? Yes, goody. What do you need? That's all we got. That's the round. What do you need? Um, I need a bath. I need a bath and go home. A couple of pints. Is this yeah. item company? No, K35. I need you to take our wounded back to the beach. No can do. We're moving out. I thought this was going to get shot. Uh. Hold here till we load our wounded. Then you can move your ass wherever you want. <laughs> yes. Get the wounded aboard. Stop now. Load my men on here. You're not going anywhere. How badly injured Lecky? He might have some broken ribs there, like. Punctured lung, maybe? Trying to put people back together and... He's gone. Oh my god. Oh, wow. He's got a punctured lung. He's going to choke to death. Somebody help him. Oh my god, it's Lecky. What the fuck? It's Lecky. So is he, he going to get sent home? What you doing, Daniels? Counting jabs. What? 81 from battalion. 60s are all here and registered. Gunny, I need another man at 2nd Platoon LP. Roger that. 2nd Platoon LP, let's go. I can count the jab. Find someone else for me. I need Daniels here. Doc, Daniels is going to come and help you count bandages. Maybe get a little shut eye, sir. Oh, he's just, he's, geez, he's slipped off its cracker a little bit. All right, Daniels. I've never been more scared in my entire life. And we're all afraid. All of us. I like that captain. He's really good. And it's all worthwhile because our cause is just. Of course, if a just cause came with some hot food and cold water, then it'll be okay too. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. A lot of time for like a captain like that. Yes, there's such thing as tough love as well, but there's, but there's some, some leaders who inspire morale and there's others that'll sap the life out of you. Agak got me a battlefield commission on the canal. Agak. You handled yourself well today, Slash. Yeah. You'll be alright. It's like going back to that look at like uh, the Band of Brothers look at the Easy Company in Sobel. He wasn't very good in the in you know in battle himself. But he was very good at training the men and although they hated him, they reckoned that like he if it wasn't for him, a lot of them wouldn't have survived the war because his training got them through it. And there's other ones like Winters, who lead by, who inspire. Moving into the hills. Let's move, Pip. Ain't supposed to rush you down, you know. Gives the Japs valuable intel, they find it. Guess I won't show it to him then. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. I like that. I like that Jesus too. Jesus Christ. Don't worry, we got a nickname for you too, Bill Laden. <laughs> like a little hammer. You're a little man. <laughs> Alright, Snafu. 
ass. Little joke from the little man. Ooh. That ribbon was about to go too far. Sledgehammer. Great name. Set up security perimeter. Machine guns move out to the left and right flank. Careful. Any little gaps through there. Sorry, Gunny's there. Gunny will sort the job out. Looks like two heavy bamboo machine guns. Probably more. Sledge, Bladen. No, no. I can just got it. What? He's a captain? Oh, no, it's not good. Not pretty. Oh, no. Careful, careful. You just wait for them just to unload, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a load of them. Oh, no. Jesus, that came out of nowhere. Fall back. Got any of these? Could they could all just get wiped out at any time? Coming in! On the fire! We've done the recon. Objectives heavily fortified. Can't take this objective without unacceptable casualties. Unacceptable casualties. Good luck. We don't come back. Company's yours. What? If I don't come back, the company's yours. God. Oh, he really likes that guy as well. Check your weapons. Keep a round chambered. Now, when we flare an HE as fast as you can, you think you can do that? We got it, Gunny. I was asking Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. The all know Sledgehammer. I wonder if Akka comes back then. Sounds like some guy having a nightmare. You better shut up, or every nip on this island knows we're here. Quiet, Evan. Shut up. Quiet. No. 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 Oh my god. Stop him, stop him, stop him. No, 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 shiver. What? As I said, hit him with something, not shovel his fucking head in. Get back. Get back to your house. Oh my god, he died. That's different than killing one an enemy. That's one of your own men. It's better him than all of us. Is that how he's looking at it? That gem is right. Had to be done. Is he starting to lose a bit of humanity? Peaches, you gonna waste those? Let's run her. You made it. Could say the same about you. Oh my god. I tried to get you a corman. I tried to get back to you. I know. Lucky, I know. The both. Oh, the both didn't die. Don't blame yourself. You did the right thing. Oh, the captain's back. Good. King Company, move out! Oh, look at that. Feel that? We're starting the engines. Oh? Are they going? What? Yeah. Let's go home, cop. Oh my god. So Runner and Lecky are on the way home. So Lecky did survive. Oh my god, look at that. Hell on earth. Okay, so um, regarding that episode, it was exactly as I kind of predicted. That was horrific. Out of all of the uh, the HBO ones that I've seen so far um, regarding the, the episodes of Band of Brothers and then this, visually um, horrific was this one. Um, just for the sheer brutality of it, I think, I think a lot of you out there will probably think the same. 
it was just there was no respite when they were trying to cross the airfield. There was bodies flying everywhere. Visually, it was crazy. Arms getting blown off, legs getting blown off, people getting shot in the head. Uh, uh, like, it's getting shot everywhere. It was like no stop and no stop, no stop. And it, it was horrific. And and it did a very, very good job of, of making you feel anxious. Uh, like, you literally felt on the edge of your seat, like nervous for them. Um, then Lecky had to go back. He went back, obviously, that he was hit. Um, with an explosion um, and obviously I think he's caused them um, maybe caused a bit of maybe like I don't know whether it was a punctured lung um, but he was bleeding he was obviously coughing up a lot of blood so that he definitely had he's, he's definitely got a, a problem um, in his chest area when I got hit in the arm so they've been sent home Okay, so there's the there's the, at least one person who I, I can guarantee now who wrote the books. Um, definitely uh, Lecky. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, this, uh, my God, I can't get over that. Everything about that episode. I, um, one thing that stands out personally for me uh, is what they're trying to do with Eugene. Um, I mean, at the beginning when his father was saying the one thing he didn't want to want to he doesn't want to see is the like the life like that that spark of life go um and i think that's what they're doing now i think the the making that mask slip and now he's gonna not turn violent but i think he's gonna we've seen him like he's a really nice kid and thoughtful and he was writing letters uh to sid when he was away and you know it showed that his heart was in the right place and it still is but I think you're seeing him now change. He's toughening up, like not toughening up, which is no toughening up's not a problem. You know, he might be toughen up. But I think like the the mask of humanity might be slipping a little bit. Like it just had to be done. Like like do you know what I mean? And and I think as we progress in the show, maybe the next few episodes, you're gonna see that more and more. That might just, that's just me. I don't know if that's true or not. But I think that's where I can feel like the headed um regarding that. The show itself has been amazing. That episode was phenomenal. It, it was phenomenal. It was, it was ridiculously good. Uh, you'll have to let me know if uh, you felt the same regarding that episode. Uh, that was crazy. Like, the most brutal episode I've seen in any of the, the so far. I think ten episodes of Band of Brothers. This is the sixth. So this took the sixteenth episode. So the sixteenth in total, this was the, the one that stands out as being, like, the most brutal for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I believe it hasn't been the most like emotional but for just for sheer brutality uh yeah the, the, the thing of being one of those guys who had to uh, you repel a loo and you're having to cross the airfield um you can see you can see the destruction you can see what they've done the the, the japanese army have already zeroed in on the, the, the obviously the places on the airfield they know all they have to do is drop a bomb now and it'll go over and it'll hit so they're already zeroed in and you have to cross that you know you've got to cross it. It's zero nine hundred. It's at nine o'clock in the morning. It's a thirsty. It's a. You, you know your will has gone. Your your mind's broken. You you just everything. And then you've got to do that. You've got to cross over there. My God, I, I can't. I can't. I can't even think about it. I can't even put it into words. Kind of like the. Just. Just the sheer terror scared and fucking like that you'd, that you'd be thinking do you know what I mean it's like I can't it, obviously as a civilian I can't get my head around that um, and I'm sure even as people who've been in the military like yourselves it's, uh, like, how do you get your mind how do you put your mind in that position to be able to do that you can't I guess that's why when you do it afterwards like you saw that Daniel he, he fucking, his cheese has slipped off its cracker and he's just sitting there going the fucking like counting Japanese and obviously the captain's gone look we'll keep him and Gunny's just like mate uh, you can do one uh, send you off to a different like different regiment but he's um noise of the captain's just like no I don't know Akak's just like no we need to keep him here uh look get him off the line get him some sleep count some bandages do you know what I mean take his mind off the Japanese count some bandages get your head down get some sleep that's all you might need um Akak's a great great captain I think he's been brilliant so far um and yeah, I just think the way they're leading it, the way the story's going, um, the way they're doing it. Obviously, I know that these things happened in real life, the, the wars themselves, but the way they're kind of moving the story along has been very good. Um, yeah, I can't get over that episode. Unbelievable. 
thank you so much if you've uh, watched this with me today and if you you know i don't know if you've enjoyed my after commentary i don't know if i'm hitting any good points any bad points i don't know um but if you're still here that means you must be listening to us so i do appreciate you being here right to the end um i will leave a link for the other ones that i've seen in here this playlist and i'll also put the band of brothers playlist there subscribe button at the top there if you want to follow along for the rest and uh, yeah i'll see you all very very soon for episode seven <laughs>